Good morning and welcome back to White Mountains Today here on White Mountain TV 16. Joining us right here and uh, with a nice view of Sunday River right there. And uh, in the studio is Meg McDonald from Sunday River. Meg, how are you today? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I am doing very well. We just had a neat shot of the, your Santas. Yes, we did. We celebrated Santa Sunday last weekend. Very cool. And we're going to talk some more about that. So what do you do there at uh, Sunday River? You're, you're not brand new, but... Uh, so I am the communications coordinator at Sunday River. I work with uh, Carolyn Castaldo, our director of communications and our um, sales and marketing team. Well, very cool, very cool. So you, got, you get to not decide what we see, but you get to help <laughs> us see what we find out about Sunday River. Absolutely, and there's a lot of fun things to find out and to learn about Sunday River. Absolutely. So uh, amazing amount of trails already mm -hmm. open at Sunday River. This has got to be a record year for you guys so mm -hmm. far. I mean, it's pretty incredible to know that we've already received over five feet of natural snow this season. And that in addition with, you know, the snow making temperatures we've had and being able to produce as much snow as we have, I think, I think that's definitely um, something to be remembered for the season. Absolutely. And you just open up the eighth peak. So every yes. peak is open. Yes. And there are plenty of trails for people to ski um, from beginner to um, expert skiers. There's, I mean, Lollapalooza absolute favorite for all is open and that was recent and um, opening more day by day. Now you've skied at Sunday River for years and years. Mm -hmm. Have you skied on every single trail? I That's know. a lot of trails. I was gonna say I don't know if I've skied on every single trail but um, I like to think I've covered a lot of them. So. But you've been to all eight peaks obviously. Ab absolutely Abs and I think, I think each peak has a lot to offer. Now do you find, do, does each peak have its own character? I would definitely say so. Um, I think you know, everyone has their personal favorite to each their own. I'm a little biased towards Spruce Peak personally, but um, especially with the amount of snow we've gotten over the past few days and over the past few weeks and the amount of snow making we've done, I think every peak has a lot to offer. Well, that's cool. I, yeah, I'm, I would imagine everybody would have their favorite, you know, because everybody has their favorite trails in a mountain, but mm -hmm. at Sunday River, you get to say, I get to choose my own peak. Exactly. You have hundreds and hundreds of acres to choose from. So. Very cool. Absolutely. So we're coming up to uh, vacation weeks, mm -hmm. and I imagine, I don't even imagine, I know that you have tons of stuff planned. Absolutely. So this weekend, we have Winterfest weekend coming up. We will be celebrating Sunday River's 59th birthday, and of course, the much anticipated opening of night skiing, which... Um, is of course a fun event for all and we'll be doing a few other things that weekend like a torch lit parade um, we'll be doing a, a party at the foggy goggle one of our dining options at sunday river yeah and um, it's it's shaping up to be a pretty fun weekend that's very cool yeah. and then beyond what what else I, you know i'm going to drill you for all oh, the information here absolutely so um so coming up we have of course christmas week and we have a lot of events you know just between the new year and um and the holiday season so we have fireworks, we have fire dancers coming in, um, we have our kids ski free weeks which will be coming up later in January. Mm -hmm. But um, one of the really anticipated things is a new event for us called the Holiday Hangover. And that is going to be um, a women's retreat weekend from January 4th to 6th and that's going to be up at the Jordan Hotel. And it's, it's honestly just a retreat for you know women to kick back after a long holiday season and take a break, um, you know, enjoy some wine tastings, do a yoga class with our with a Lululemon ambassador, and enjoy a uh, sunrise hike up of Lollapalooza. So, that sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a great weekend, I Something think. tells me Hans and I can't go, but... <laughs> oh, wow. I don't know if you guys would, uh, would fit in as much. <laughs> All right, well, you'll have to find something for us uh, later on. Absolutely. And then uh, into the new year, I'm mm -hmm. sure you always have something every weekend. Yeah, we really do, and I think our events team does a really great job of making sure sure that the experience for guests is um, is definitely one to remember um, you know for the kids we have our Eddie um, Eddie the Yeti <coughs> Eddie the Yeti we love him we love Eddie yeah and we have um, some Eddie dinners with him over in uh, Grand Summit Hotel um, we have a lot of fireworks and dance with our um, dances with the fire dancers and there's a there's a lot going on this season for sure now has Eddie the Yeti ever uh, been a fire dancer I don't know, but I think we'd have to talk to our events team about making that yeah, happen, see if, possibly. Uh, see if Eddie, how he can uh, twirl his... Uh, his, his whatever fire it is. Fire sticks away. <laughs> there's, a, there's a name for him. I just can't think of what the, exactly. the actual name is. Mm -hmm. Now, we're obviously, we're talking a lot about events, mm -hmm. but let's talk about the, the conditions. Yeah. Um, 
you know, I, I had mentioned earlier that we finished up um, a lot of renovations to our snowmaking system this sun summer, and that was huge for us. We were able to increase our capacity of snowmaking by 15%. And I think that definitely speaks to the amount of snow and the quality of snow we've been able to produce. Um, you know, in addition with the uh, with the natural snow that we've received, it's it's pretty incredible to look at the terrain that we have open and the in the conditions that we have. So. And of course, you you get out there, you groom it, mm -hmm. and you make it. Uh, very, how many groomers you got? How many machines? You know, I'm I'm not hundred percent sure off the top of my head. Something I could look into, but um, it's. It's, it's got to be a say. lot. If you got eight peaks, it, you know. I was gonna say it's definitely a lot. One guy on a snow machine. <laughs> I'm getting to it. I'm getting yeah. to it. But uh, so and because that's one of the things that uh, I see a lot on the website is about mm -hmm. the grooming and the conditions and mm -hmm. and getting out there and and with so much terrain, it really gives you that that opportunity for people to have. Uh, we talked about their favorite peaks, but different types of snow conditions. Really, mm -hmm. absolutely. You know, even the other day last week when we got. What was it? Um, you know, about 18 inches of snow, and we had fresh powder. And you know, it's a day that you know some skiers who love powder, who don't get to ski it as often, they get to come out and ski that. And then, you know, the next day there's some more groom trails open. But um, there's definitely a little bit of everything for everyone. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun. If people want to get more information about Sunday River, what's the best way to do that? Head on over to our website, sundayriver.com. Um, we recently launched our app, which is a great resource as well for information, so another great place to check out. Um, we have our mountain reports, that, mountain reports that are updated every day for you know up-to-date conditions, and other than that, um, I think that's the best way to, to find out some more information. So I want to just touch base on the app real quick. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the features of that? If I'm skiing at Sunday River, can mm -hmm. I pull out my phone, and, yeah. and what can I find out as I'm going, where mm -hmm. am I? So one of the best things about the app, so say you are on Spruce Peak and you're, you're getting hungry for lunch and you're not sure if you want to ski down to the bottom, you can pull out our app and you can look to see the distance you are away from each of our dining options, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> that when you're is very awesome. So guess what? You might head over to North Peak and um, might go over to the mountain room for lunch that afternoon for some apres and, and hang out there for a little bit. That, as a parent, that would be the greatest <laughs> thing. All right. We're 27 <laughs> feet from a place to eat or whatever it is. That's an awesome feature. Yeah, we're pretty excited about it. So it's a, um, it's on wherever you can download an app. So feel free to go check it out and just the Sunday River. Type in Sunday River and there you go. That sounds great. Yeah. Well, Meg, thanks so much for coming by of today course. and uh, good luck this season. And Thank uh, you. I mean, uh, basically, your job is already done. You just you, because uh, <laughs> with all this snow and everything else, uh, uh, you're uh, you're in for a smooth winter. So. I think it's going to be a great winter so far. And we're looking forward to seeing you come by again. Absolutely. Thank you again. And we'll be back here in a minute on White Mountains Today.